I'm not totally dead against it. What I'm trying to say here is that it is extremely important. It's a ba careful balancing act when it comes to um, the health of the woman and the child during pregnancy and birth, and also taking into account the long-term psychological and social well-being of the child, mm -hmm. you know, with having potentially uh, older parents. So, Where's the evidence to say that having an older parent is psychologically a problem for a child? Well, it's, it's not about... Uh, the evidence we need to, because quite clearly, women in their 50s and, as you know, in 60s and 70s have had children, OK? Mm. I mean, I think the oldest one was 72 in India, and then we have had many in 60s as well. Good, so this right. is why this debate is important. What is important, the evidence is, is to be produced because this is all happening recently. But okay? people so, are living longer and healthier, aren't they? I mean, you yeah. know, 65, 70 yeah. today um, is not what it was like <clears> 30, 40, 50 years ago. I mean, people are much healthier, much more active, much fitter, much more body conscious and all the rest of it. Do you feel in any way at a disadvantage uh, having had a baby at 50? Absolutely not. And how old were you when you had your last baby? Well, he's my only one. He's the only one? Yes, okay. so... So he'll be 10 when you'll be 60? Yes. Uh, he'll be... 20 20 uni, when you're 70. 70. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that doesn't give you force yeah. thought, doesn't psychologically unsettle you, give you sleepless nights? No, I have other things that gives me sleepless nights. Not that. Um, not, not that at all. Because I think the fact of the matter is having, you know, I think there's considerations, as Gita mentioned. I think that you have to take the decision very seriously. Why did you wait till 50, may I ask? I didn't wait, and that's the thing I think that is a big misconception. I didn't wait. It just worked out that way, and it took me six years to get pregnant. Right. So you were, st you were starting to try in your early when 40s? I, was, I met my husband when I was 43, yes. so that was the first... Um, I opportunity. Think opportunity, yeah. really. And then from there on in, it was almost seven years that but we tried. But did you think when you met your husband, because, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm 40 and I have friends, you know, who aren't married yet or haven't met anybody yet. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we do have that. We may not say it, but we do think, oh, God, will she ever have kids? And that's right. You know, I've got one and I had mine at 35 and I was worried at 32 or 33 that I might never have children, you know, because I thought, well, if I don't meet anyone, it's never going to happen. So, you know, do you, did you think in your 40s, well, I've met my husband, but did you never think, well, that's it, I'm never going to have children? Yeah, when I, was, when I was 40, 41, I wasn't married, I was travelling a lot with my career. Um, I had a great, still do, great group of friends, a great life. I thought, mm. that's it, you know, I probably am not going to get married, I'm not going to have kids, but I'm going to make the best right. of what I have in the here and now. Let's so. Let's talk about the physical risks um, of a child being born with uh, disabilities, um, of the risks to the mother. That they do, I mean, the, the, this is unarguable. Those risks do uh, really begin to increase, don't they, from about 35 onwards? Yes, they do. I mean, fertility declines sharply with women's age, and that's the reality. But a lot of women over 50 are using donor eggs, so I think that's something we must make it very clear, unless they're using their frozen eggs from before. Mm. But I think what's important is we need to address the reasons why we are de women delaying as well. Mm -hmm. So, but the important factor is taking physical risks, increased complications, medical complications yes. during pregnancy, childbirth, all these risks need but to be... But the would you advise a 30-year-old yeah. woman who wants to know she wants to have babies, but it is not doesn't have a relationship at the moment, which is going to provide... Isn't interested yet. Would you, would, you, would you say strongly, freeze your eggs? Well, get some I, to I freeze them now. She just like told her. the producer to do that. No, I would actually... <laughs> then I asked her to check her fertility yeah. first. I asked her to get fertility checked. But I think quite, that's quite important to get your fertility <laughs> checked so that at least you know where you are. It's for peace of mind or actually planning your future mm. family. Okay. I think we need to give the control yeah. back to women, but we really need to help them with um, getting the test done. But, but you're, you're I think enjoying that, motherhood at, at uh, Yeah, sense, and I yeah. think there's some scaremongering there. I think that you need to live your life, you need to be in the here and now, yeah. and trust that, you know, things are going to work out the way they're meant. Thank you, both of you. Really Thank you both. interesting. Really interesting Lots point. of arguments for and against. A lot yeah. of you say it's, it is too old, and what about the child, you know, if, if the mother's 73, 74, and, and it's still a, a small child? But a lot of other people are saying you can be really fit in your 70s, so mm -hmm. if you want to do it, go for it. Your choice.